Hello, Vin. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Yes, can you hear me well? Uh, yes. Okay, can you please turn on your camera, Vin? Uh, can I please turn because it's very loud? Ah, oh, yes, it's okay. Yeah. I understand. Okay, so it's nice to see you again, Vin. So, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, so what did you do today? What did you do? What did you do today? Did you go to your school? Can you say it again? Yeah, what did you do today, um, Vin? Uh, I just learning. What? I just got in school. Ah, oh, you just got home from school. So that means that you haven't eaten your dinner yet? Are you done eating your dinner, Vin? Yes. Okay. Okay, great. So now, Vin, we're going to continue our lesson in, um, I think this is practice test for your reading. Yeah, so we are now in part four. So there are questions 21 to 25. If you can make it perfect, you will get five points. What you do here is you're going to read the text and questions below. For each question, there are choices from letter A, B, C, or D, and you can choose what letter is the correct answer? Okay. So, can you see my screen clearly, Vin? No, oh, I can't see the screen clearly. You cannot see. Ooh. Okay. So, for this one, I'm going to send this one to you in Zalo. Do you have access in Zalo? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to send this to you in Zalo so that you can read this. Okay, Vinka. Okay, did you see my message, Vin? Uh, no, I can't see your message yet. Okay, let me see. Oh, no connection. Oh, my God. Okay, I already sent it to you, Vin. Ah, field. Okay. I'm going to send this again. Retry. Yes, retry. Ooh. How about now, Vin? Can you see? Can you see my message? I already sent it just now. Not, not yet. What about now? No, okay, I can see your message now. Okay, so can you please read the story, Vin? 
this one. Okay, some people have complained about this year collection, new writing free. And though I cannot understand why, surely five, uh, uh, 500 pages of original writing of this quality for 9.99 pounds is pretty amazing. Fiction, both parts of novel and complete short stories make up most of the books. There are some enjoyable pieces by famous writer such as Ken Deer, Mick William and Rose Dreamin. It's a strange fact that the less well-known people seem to write mainly about food. Take my advice about chains. Here is those nails. This piece should definitely not be read just after meal. It contains some very unpleasant scenes uh, which could turn your stomach. There is, there is fine work from 19 poets, including R.S. Thomas and John Burnside. There are pieces from Noble in Progress by Jim Price and Jane Rogers. Finally, there is a little nonfiction, which includes a very funny article by Ellen Rodas Bridger on certain new certain newspaper and an extra extraordinary piece about herself on Ursula Owen. This is an exceptional collection and I for one can't wait to see what next year charts will be included. Okay, great. Thank you for reading that one, Vin. Um, I can now see your improvement in reading. Okay, and I think you are now in um, um, this story will test your reading comprehension to see if you really understood what you have read. Okay, so before we begin with number 21, I want you to repeat this word. You say written. You say written. Uh, read Written. Yeah, this is this is pronounced as written. Next, we have stomach. Stomach. Okay, great. So now it's not stomach; it's stomach. Yeah, that means your tummy, the food where you, where they got in. Okay. So now, Vin, do you have any question about the story? Oh no. Okay, so let's proceed with number 21. What is the writer trying to do in the text? Is it A, give her opinions about a new book? B, give some information about new writers? C, give some advice to writers? Or D, give her opinion of newspaper journalists? So what is your answer? Uh. My answer is, uh, hmm, the C. Letter C, is that final? Give some advice yes. to writers. Okay, so this is letter A. Give her opinions about the new book. And the new book is about new writing three. It has 500 pages. Uh, yeah, 500 pages. Okay, so number 22, why would somebody read the text? Is it A, to find out more details about something? B, to learn what next year's collection will contain? Or C, to find out about Alan Russ Bridger's new novel? Or D, to decide whether to complain about something. So, what is your answer? A, B, C, or D? Mm. 
D. Okay, letter D. So this one is still A to find out more details about something. Okay, so now let's proceed with number 23. What does the writer think of new writing 3? Is it A, it's too long, B, it's very amusing, C, it's very good, or D, it's too serious? That is a... Hmm. Uh, I think the answer is C. Okay, this is letter C. Very good. It's very good. How about number 24? How might you feel after reading Jane Harris' piece? Is it A, hungry, B, excited, C, unhappy, or D, sick? Mm, I think that is B. Letter B, excited. Okay, so I'm going to read this again to you. Take my advice about Jane Harris, those nails. This piece should definitely not be read just after meals. It contains some very unpleasant scenes which could turn your stomach. So what does it mean when when the author said it could turn your stomach? Does it make you hungry, excited, unhappy, or sick? Ah, oh, hungry. Hungry. You should not definitely not be read just after meals. Okay, so when you're done eating, you should not read the story of Jane Harris entitled Those Nails. Because what could... So, how might you feel after reading it? Will you be hungry, excited, unhappy, or sick? So, what do you think? Happy. What letter? That is letter... Hmm. D. Okay. Very good. This is letter D. Yeah. Because you should not read this after you eat because you might vomit, you might feel sick, and it could turn your stomach. So it is not good to read this one because there are sins that are unpleasant to imagine. Okay. So number 25, which of the following describes new writing 3? Is it A? Two novels, poems, and articles for only £6.99. B, the best of new writing for only £6.99. Or C, poems by Tremaine Harris and Burnside for only £6.99. Or D, newspapers for a whole year for only £6.99. So what is your answer? That is, that is B. Letter B. Okay, very good. So for this part, you got three out of five. So, so that is still a good score. So I think this is the end of the reading test. Ah, so there's still part five. Okay, so here in part five, it's questions 26 to 35. So equivalent to 10 points. You're going to read the text below and choose the correct word for each space. For each question, you're going to mark the correct letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet so it still have lots of choices here okay so here um it is entitled carton films okay so we have an example here in zero carton films have very a few limits okay so the answer for an um example which is the zero is a few limits yes Okay, for, for numbers 26 to 27, I want you to continue reading the story about cartoon films and tell me your answer. So, we have the choices here below, A, B, C, or D. You're going to choose from here. Okay, so can you please okay. start again? 
Cut and film have very few limits. If you can draw something, you can achieve the make it move on cinema screen. Okay. The use uh, I be the use of new ideas and advanced computer programs mean that cartoons are becoming exciting again for the people of, uh, as you say, all ages. Great. By the uh, uh, I choose D. Larry D. By the back of the 1970s. Lucimena were had decided that cartoon was only for children. But soon I choose I afterward. Oh. Huh? Uh, one or two directors have some original new ideas. They provide that it was possible to make film which both adults and children could uh, hmm, would, uh, Let me think. Okay. What? Could? Uh, I divide fun. Okay. However, not as you see any cartoon films were successful. The back count from, for example, failed mainly because it was too, uh, I choose the frightening for children and too childish for adults. Directors learn from his, I choose the mistakes. Okay. And the film companies began to make a large uh, amount, I choose A. Okay, what about number 32? Let me go back to number 32. Can you please repeat your answer there? Okay. Mm. However, however, not I choose a every 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 okay. So now, are these your final answers? Yes. Okay. So let's check if you got a correct score here. Me, B, C. Okay, and afterwards, D share every. Very good, frightening mistake and amounts. So for this one, you got 8 out of 10. Yeah, okay. So now, Vin, I think it's this is the end of our reading. So are you ready to begin with your regular test? Yes. Okay, so... For the listening part of our regular test, if you can listen once only, just tell me so that we can minimize our time. Because you only have 28 minutes left to finish this entire regular test. Okay, and please take note, Vin, that I am not allowed to answer any question from you. And in uh, you're not allowed to ask any question from me because this is a test. Okay, so before... um. Uh, without further ado, let's proceed with our listening skill. Okay, 
So here in task 1, there are 7 questions in this part. For each question, there are 3 pictures, A, B, C, and a short recording. So what you do is you choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below. Okay. You will hear each recording twice. Okay. 1. How much is the man's ticket? Can you tell me how much a ticket is for Saturday's performance of Macbeth? The front stalls and the circle are the most expensive oh, at £16.50. Yes, yes, yes. The middle uh, seats... I can't see the screen clearly. Ah, okay. It's very blue. For number one, it is £16.50. Num letter B, £15. Letter C, £12.50. The question is, how much is the man's ticket? Yeah. Okay, so have you take note the choices now? Okay. Okay. The stalls cost fifteen pounds, and the back three rows cost twelve pounds fifty. But the view isn't so good. All seats are ten pounds for students. I'll have one in the middle, please. I'm not a student. I've got my credit card here. Now listen again. Can you tell me how much a ticket is for Saturday's the performance is very The front stalls and okay. the circle are the I'm most... I'm going to repeat this one again. Each recording twice. One. How much is the man's ticket? Can you tell me how much a ticket is for Saturday's performance of Macbeth? The front stalls and the circle are the most expensive at £16.50. The middle seats in the stalls cost £15, and the back three rows cost 50 but the view isn't so good. All seats are £10 for students. I'll have one in the middle, please. I'm not a student. I've got my credit card here. Now listen again. Can you tell me how much a ticket is for Saturday's performance of Macbeth? The front stalls and the circle are the most expensive at £16.50. The middle seats in the stalls cost £15, and the back three rows cost £12.50, but the view isn't so good. All seats are £10 for students. I'll have one in the middle, please. I'm not a student. I've got my credit card here. Okay. Two. For number two, what will they have for lunch? A. Fries and egg. B. Sausage and fries. Letter C. Fish and fries. What will they have for lunch? It's chips for lunch. What would you like with them? Not fish again, please. And we had chicken last night. Well, we've got plenty of sausages, but we've finished the eggs, I'm afraid. That's decided then. Now listen again. Do you want to listen again, Vin? Yes. Okay. It's chips for lunch. Now listen again. It's chips for lunch. What would you like with them? Not fish again, please. And we had chicken last night. Well, we've got plenty of sausages, but we've finished the eggs, I'm afraid. That's decided, then. Okay, great. So now let's proceed with numbers three and four. Why was the man late at home? Okay. The bus struck. I don't know if it struck, but the bus fell down. Okay. The letter B, it's train. Then letter C, I think it's bus. I don't know what's happening there. Yeah. Okay, so can you see the screen clearly now, Vin? No. No. Okay. So I'm just going to send this one to you again so that you can 
differentiate the picture because uh, I cannot. Teacher, but in the law, I can't hear this talking. Ah, yeah, it's okay. I uh my in my purpose sending a picture to you in Zalo so that you can see it clearly. Uh, but when I listening, but when I access in Zalo, I can't listening your test. Ah, okay. So just go to Zalo. Um, take a look at the pictures for one minute and tell me if you're done looking at the picture so that you can listen. You can go back to Zoom. Teacher, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so are you now done looking at the picture, Vin? Yes. Okay. Three. Why was the man late home? Hi. Have you had a busy day at the office? Yes. Sorry I'm late. I didn't get the bus because Pete offered me a lift. We didn't realize the motorway was closed because of a lorry accident, so it took much longer than normal. I'll be even later tomorrow with the train strike. Now listen again. Hi. Have you had a busy day at the office? Yes. Sorry I'm late. I didn't get the bus because Pete offered me a lift. We didn't realize the motorway was closed because of a lorry accident, so it took much longer than normal. I'll be even later tomorrow with the train strike. Four. What was the weather like on John's holiday? How was your holiday, John? We had a good time, but the weather was awful. We didn't have one sunny day. Oh dear, a week in the rain. Poor you. Well, that's the funny thing. It never actually rained. It was just freezing cold and cloudy. We thought it might even snow. Now listen again. How was your holiday, John? We had a good time, but the weather was awful. We didn't have one sunny day. Oh dear. A week in the rain. Poor you. Well, that's the funny thing. It never actually rained. It was just freezing cold and cloudy. We thought it might even snow. Okay, so now let's proceed with numbers 5 to 7. Okay, so let me take a picture again, this one, and I'll send it to you. Okay, so are you now done looking at the pictures in Zalo? I just receive it. What? I just receive it. Ah, yes, okay. So just tell me once you're done, Vin. Okay, can I play the audio now? Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Five. What time was the woman's appointment? Oh, I've had an awful morning. 
I was really late for my hospital appointment. I just missed the nine o'clock bus, and the next one didn't come until twenty to ten. I was supposed to see the doctor at ten past ten, but I didn't arrive until half past. He wasn't very pleased. Now listen again. Oh, I've had an awful morning. I was really late for my hospital appointment. I just missed the nine o'clock bus, and the next one didn't come until twenty to ten. I was supposed to see the doctor at ten past ten, but I didn't arrive until half past. He wasn't very pleased. Six. What did the woman buy? Did you get anything from the duty-free shop? Well, I really wanted some of that perfume I bought last time, and I got a large bottle. Then I looked for the Walkman I'd promised I'd get for Tony. Fortunately, they'd sold all of them, so I had enough money for a lovely silk scarf for myself. I completely forgot about the chocolates I was supposed to get for Mary. Now listen again. Did you get anything from the duty-free shop? Well, I really wanted some of that perfume I bought last time, and I got a large bottle. Then I looked for the Walkman I'd promised I'd get for Tony. Fortunately, they'd sold all of them, so I had enough money for a lovely silk scarf for myself. I completely forgot about the chocolates I was supposed to get for Mary. Seven. Where are the man and the woman talking? It's a bit crowded, isn't it? Worse than a football match. Can you see well enough from here? It doesn't matter. As long as I can hear and get down the important points of what he says, it's okay. I'm going to the library after this. I want to get this report finished so that I can go to the cinema. Now listen again. It's a bit crowded, isn't it? Worse than a football match. Can you see well enough from here? It doesn't matter. As long as I can hear and get down the important points of what he says, it's okay. I'm going to the library after this. I want to get this report finished so that I can go to the cinema. That is the end of part. Okay, great. So now, Vin, <clears throat> let's proceed directly with task two. You're going to look at six sentences for this part. Okay, you will hear a conversation between a boy. Tom and his sister Claire about school. Then you decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, you're going to put a tick in the box under A for yes. And if it is not correct, you put a tick in the box under B for no. Okay. So let me play this one. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a boy. Tom and his sister Claire about school. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have twenty seconds to look at the questions for part four. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Guess what, Claire? I've been chosen for the school swimming team. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think it's great, but I'm sure Dad won't say the same when he finds out. You know how he feels about you doing all this sport and not doing your schoolwork. You'll never get all your homework done. 
Especially if you have to travel to other schools for competitions. It won't make any difference. I can do my homework on the bus. Honestly, Tom, you know what your teacher said to Dad last term? You've got a good brain and you could improve your marks at school if you spent a bit less time thinking about sport. Sometimes I wonder if you ever think about anything else at all. Well, I work hard at everything I like doing, not just sport. I mean, take maths, for example. OK, it's your life. But you know you have your examinations next year for college. And at most of the good colleges, they have great sports facilities. If you aren't accepted, then you'll have to find a job, and that won't be easy. Oh, I've thought about that already. I'm thinking of applying to do sports science at college, and someone told me some of the colleges often take students with lower marks if they're good at sport. Well, I wouldn't depend on what one of your friends says if I were you. For your information, it wasn't one of my friends. It was a teacher at school. I'm only trying to help. And anyway, it doesn't really matter what I say. It's Dad you have to worry about. Yes, OK. I know you're right about that. I'll have a chat with him tonight and explain things again. Good luck. Now listen again. Guess what, Claire? I've been chosen for the school swimming team. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think it's great, but I'm sure Dad won't say the same when he finds out. You know how he feels about you doing all this sport and not doing your schoolwork? You'll never get all your homework done, especially if you have to travel to other schools for competitions. It won't make any difference. I can do my homework on the bus. Honestly, Tom, you know what your teacher said to Dad last term? You've got a good brain and you could improve your marks at school if you spent a bit less time thinking about sport. Sometimes I wonder if you ever think about anything else at all. Well, I work hard at everything I like doing, not just sport. I mean... Take maths, for example. OK, it's your life. But you know you have your examinations next year for college. And at most of the good colleges, they have great sports facilities. If you aren't accepted... OK. So now, Vin, let's proceed with our reading and writing. So you look at the text in each question and you answer the question, what does it say? You can mark the letter A, B, or C on the screen. Okay, so here, road repairs starting here on 1st September for four weeks, expect delays. So what does it mean? A, this part of the road will open again on 1st September. B, your journey may take longer on this road in September. Or C, we are expecting more traffic on this road in September. Uh, B. Okay. How about number two? Can you please read this one? Uh, teacher... I can't see clearly. Yes, I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. How about this? Can you see now clearly, uh, Ben? Oh, okay. A bit? Okay. Digues, our holiday at this uh, is available in the lunch every day at 10 a.m. for booking guide tours, museum, garden, ticket, camel rides. Enjoy your stay. Okay, so what does it mean? Is it A, people staying at Hotel Maroc can arrange activities through the hotel? Uh, teacher, can you... Uh, String it because I can't see all the answer. You mean I'm going to zoom this one? No, string it. What shrink in? Like make it smaller. I ah, make it smaller. Yes. Okay. Done. Then. 
Okay, so dear guests, our holiday advisory is available in the lunch every day, 8 to 10 a.m. for booking guided tours, museum, garden, tickets, camel and rides. Enjoy your stay. Daily setting trip start from the Hotel Marco. Okay, great. So how about this one? You've got online booking form, name, and name address, number of tickets. Then tickets booked within 7 days of a performance are kept for collection. So what does it mean? Tickets will be sent to you within 7 days of booking. When booking, advise staff if your tickets are to be kept for collection. Or see, we don't post tickets book one week or less before the performance. Hmm. Let me think. Uh, 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 yeah. You don't put stickers book one week or less before the performance. Okay, how about number four? The team is the same as last week. I've already checked. Everyone can play. Anyone needing a lift to five field can phone me. Okay, so A, players have a problem getting to the five field match should contact Paul. B, anyone who wants to play in a five field team needs to speak to Paul. C, team members who are not available for the five field match must phone call. Okay. okay, great. So now, Vin, let's proceed with the next number. Improved service. From next month, this bank will remain open until 2 p.m. on Saturdays. A, after next month, the bank will be open all weekend. B, the bank closes at 2 p.m. on weekdays. Or C, the bank will have longer op opening hours in future. Uh, I think that is uh, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. So now let's proceed to task four. Let's read the task and questions below. For each question, mark the correct letter A, B, or C, D on your answer sheet. Oh, wow. So it's a long reading. Okay, can you please read that one, Vin? Okay, since it's already time. Okay, and we still have lots of... Okay, so I think we need to finish this one because it's a regular test. Okay, so I'm just going to extend my time to you, Vin. Okay, so what is... Uh, can you please read the story first? Okay. Task four. Uh, in region, the ancient tradition of open-air performance, they were laughing well. Cornwall has some vision of this walking theater with open air. The theater actually built into a cliff, a project only recently completed. Two actors, Stephen James and Maria Thomas, came to London Theater to come, join a theater company called Coastline. They now regularly perform in just a theater by the sea. One thing about performing outside is we never know what will happen. For example, if a bird lands on the stage, we can't act as if it's not there. The audience are all watching it, so we just bring the bird into the play, too. Once about 13 dolphins came past, jumping out of the water and showing off. The audience were all chatting about them instead of watching the play, so after just gave up for a while and watched the dolphin too. 
The weather can also be difficult. Sometimes it's been so hard, say Muriel, that we ask for the audience if they really want to stay. But usually they sit with the coat and umbrella say, yes, please carry on. They must view it isn't much fun, but no one returned the ticket so far. Coastline director John Barnack worked hard to introduce people to theater. Many people think of theater as club where they don't belong and not welcome, he explained. Sitting in the open air changed their feeling. The audience are far more in love. They aren't sitting in the park. Uh, I'm sitting in the park. Uh, in the dark at the distance that like in normal theater and that improved the actor performance too. I'm very proud of the work they've done so far. Great. So for number one, what is the writer trying to do in this text? What's your uh, answer, Lynn? Okay. Uh, uh, I do uh, see. Letter C. How about number two? When place are disturbed by local wildlife, the actors what? What letter? Hey. Letter A. How about number three? Letter C, number four. Okay, let's go to number four. What does Jan Bamak say about outdoor theater? Let's use B. Let's B. How about number five, Vin? What would an actor from the coastline company do? Okay, so I think we're now in our speaking test. Okay, you're going to describe people or places saying where people and things are and what people are doing. Okay, I want you to describe the first picture first. Uh. Um, yeah, so what can you see in the picture, Vin? I can see this moment. I thought the uh, buying some food in the supermarket. Okay. I think they in the food store and in front of them there is a vegetable store. Okay, great. How about in the second picture? What can you see? Uh, I can see there is a family uh, eating breakfast. Uh, I, I think that it is, uh, it's, it's breakfast and they are happily talking to me there. Okay, great. So now, Vin, for task six, let's talk about what you usually do at lunchtime during the week and at the weekend. Okay, so what do you do at lunchtime during this week? 
during last week. Uh, uh, last time I just uh, eating the food that my mom prepared for me and talking with my friend. I think it is a very fun time because we can all talking together. Okay. What about lunch time at the weekend? What do you usually do? Lunch time at the weekend, I usually uh, go eating with my family and we are just uh, talking together too. Okay, so why is it that lunch is important? I think it is the time that everyone uh, can chat in together uh, and uh, enjoy their lunch. And the lunch is very uh, short, so they can they cannot chat in very long, like in the dinner. Okay, great. So now, thank you so much for joining our regular test tonight, Vin. So we will just end here. Um, have a good night. Keep safe always. And I'll be seeing you. Ah, okay. So there's an upcoming holiday in Pantado. That's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Do you want to study? Do you still want to study on Sunday? Uh, in Sunday, my family are planning for trip, so I'm sorry that I can't uh, learn it on Sunday. Ah, yes, it's okay. In Monday, no, too. Monday, uh, Monday we have no class in Monday. Yeah, so it's okay, Vin. That's not a problem. So thank you so much for your time. Have a good night and keep safe always. Bye-bye, Vin. Bye, teacher.